the interaction between black people and white people in a system of white supremacy only comes under three categories as far as uh, what I call in the word guide that I put out the textbook for victims of racism in the word guide section. It comes under the tragic arrangement. All the of all all of the arrangements between black people, non white people and white people on this planet in all areas of activity, twenty four hours a day, comes under the banner, you might say, of a tragic arrangement. And that breaks down into three categories tacky, trashy, terroristic. And it doesn't get any better than tacky. The very best arrangements a bunch of black people and white people sitting around a conference table and whatnot. The, the whole the whole atmosphere, the, the the nature of the talk, the way that people interact with each other, the hypocrisy that goes on, the nervousness that goes on, that's tacky. It's all tacky. It doesn't get any better than tacky. It can't get any better than tacky. And if they try to improve on the tackiness, then it starts getting trashy. Like the... Uh, outline that you just presented, uh, sim- symbolism, whatnot. I mean, they're going to cut a cake or something like that uh, in a sort of a party type atmosphere. Okay, so then it gets trashy. That's what that kind of. That's the only thing I can make out of it from your description of it. I'm not familiar with the scene, but I think that that would come under that banner. It went from tacky to trashy if it ever was at the uh, first stage in the first place, which would be tacky. Then it just goes to tacky, uh, trashy. And then the third stage is something that's terroristic. So just what you just outlined, the cutting of the genitals and all like that could be considered symbolism of terrorism. See, so it doesn't get much better than those three things. It doesn't get out of those, that frame of reference. Tacky, trashy, Terroristic. One, two, three. Take your choice. You're not going to get anything other than that. You're not going to get what we call a quality relationship ever under the system of racism. You can only get that quality relationship if you eliminate racism, meaning white supremacy, and replace it with a better system. And logically speaking, that better system would be a system of justice which means guaranteeing that no person is mistreated and guaranteeing that the person who needs help the most gets the most constructive help in all areas of activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. But you're going to have this, what you have now, what you just outlined. As long as you have the system of racism being the dominant culture among the people of this planet. 